Hey, it's Nick, holistic nutritionist, author of The Healthy Fat Loss Diet, and creator of The Flat Belly System and Three Week Metabolism Diet. In today's video, I'm going to go over the seven key differences between the only two body types that are possible when it comes to trying to lose weight, a fat storing body and a fat burning body. So, what kind of body do you think you have? Are you currently at least 10 pounds overweight? Do you um, just do you struggle to lose weight even if you're cutting calories? You don't respond very well to exercise. Um, it, if you can say, if you say yes to those questions or similar questions, then you probably have a fat storing body, and you need to watch this video to figure out how to reverse that fat storing body and turn it upside down into a fat burning machine. Okay, so these uh, seven key differences all connect to create that fat burning body that you need to have in order to lose weight. So, key difference number one is digestion. Yeah, we're not going to talk about um, increasing your water intake or exercising more or, or generic things like that that probably haven't worked for you in the past. We're going to talk about things that are not discussed in the weight loss community. In the weight loss community, you hear things about um, eating, uh, fi eating more fiber or increasing your water intake or drinking green tea, things like that. Those things do not help you. You need to realize that in order to lose weight and burn off, release, get rid of, shed that excess fat, you got to optimize your metabolism and your body. So number one is digestion. You need to be eating foods that are easily digestible, foods that are actually foods, not processed, fake, refined foods that are causing inflammation in your gut, um, eating, avoiding conventional dairy, conventional meats that are inflaming your digestive system. If you're experiencing any IBS, diarrhea, constipation, that type of digestive problem, you know that that's not normal. Bloating, gas, things like that are not normal. There are the response or a reaction to something but ultimately, at the end of the day, they are signs that your digestion is suffering and you need to address it. So people with fat storing bodies have an optimal digestive system. They have great bowel movements a couple times a day. They uh, have very little gas, no bloating, and um, they're probably eating really great quality foods that's not leading to that, those digestive complications. All right, number two is a highly high functioning optimal thyroid. So they have a high body temperature. They don't ha they're not, you know, cold cold bodied, cold well not cold blooded, but um, so their thyroid is functioning at a level that supports a high fast metabolism, okay? So um, if you are experiencing low thyroid function like hypothyroidism, you're going to uh, start storing weight around the midsection. You're going to have a slow, have a low body temperature. Uh, you also might have some hair falling out, brittle, you know, soft, weak nails, um, skin issues. So somebody with a fat storing body tends to have a slow thyroid function. Somebody that ha is a fat burning body has a high thyroid, meaning their um, their inactive thyroid is being converted to active thyroid. And in fact, we're going to go ahead and go to number three to talk a little bit more about hormones. So the key, uh, one, uh, the key difference number three between a fat store and a fat burner is calm adrenal glands. So you maybe have heard of adrenal fatigue. That's when um, our adrenal glands are being stimulated too much, whether it be with too much caffeine, too much alcohol, lack of sleep, over stress. Any stress that our bodies have, whether it be physical, psychological, mental, emotional, your adrenal glands respond by secreting cortisol. Now, cortisol is an awesome fat-burning hormone when it is regulated and in small amounts, little burst amounts, like if we have a stress that we need to run away from a robber or somebody with a gun. But essentially, it's like all day we have a gun to our head and we're in constant state of stress, worrying, anxious eating poor quality foods, drinking caffeinated beverages, drinking beverages with um, metabolic stimulants, taking fat burning pills, all these things lead to overloaded adrenal glands. And now, in connection to the thyroid, the liver. So 
about three quarters of your thyroid hormone inactive is converted to active at your liver. Okay, so if you are eating lots of processed foods, lots of pesticide-ridden foods, lots of conventional animal products, um, you're taking medications, you um, drinking alcohol more than a couple times a week, eating lots of sugar, high fructose corn syrup, that type of thing, your liver is probably struggling a little bit. It's probably a little bit sluggish. It's not doing what it needs to be done. It's not detoxifying excess stress hormones like estrogen and cortisol. It is not uh, cleansing out your blood. Your liver also sends nutrients and minerals throughout your body so you can so your metabolism can function at an optimal rate. Um, it's probably not going to be converting that T4 to T3. And so you're going to have thyroid slowing. That is hypothyroidism. So you got to ask yourself, if you have any form of thyroid imbalance or hypothyroidism, do you have a thyroid problem or do you have a liver problem? And then you got to ask yourself, what problem is that coming from? Do I have a crappy food problem? Do I have a lack of exercise problem? Do I have a hormonal imbalance? So all these things, remember, are connected. So let's go to number five. MAT, that's metabolically active tissue. What I'm talking about is lean muscle. A fat-burning body has lots of lean muscle. Muscle tissue is pretty much the only tissue that's going to burn off that excess fat that you have. When you start making the right choices, when you optimize your digestion, thyroid, adrenal glands, and uh, liver, your fat's going to start being released into your blood, into your body. And so when you have that lean muscle, your muscle will destroy, essentially, burn off those free uh, free floating fat cells, free uh, fatty acids. So, um, but if your adrenal glands are overloaded with excess cortisol, cortisol breaks down muscle tissue. And that is a uh, recipe for a slow thyroid and lowered body temperature, which all that leads to storing fat. Number six, your cells. Ultimately, if you have happy cells, you'll have a happy body, happy hormones, lots of energy, a happy thyroid. If you have unhappy cells from eating lots of refined oils, lots of poor quality foods, not enough protein, you're going to have a very unhappy fat storing body. Remember, what we eat, what we drink is what our cells are made of. Our cells regenerate every few months. Your cells right now will not be the same cells that you have six months from now. So what you eat is what you're made of. You want to be made of awesome lean muscle with optimized organs, digestion, and all that? Then you got to start making better food choices. And last but not least, a fat-burning body has, of course, an optimized metabolism. All these things are, well, your um, one through six govern how your metabolism is functioning. Your thyroid is a very a master regulator. Your adrenal glands um, are where your uh, steroid hormones, the fat-burning hormones, are regulated. These hormones can either work for you or against you. Your liver can detoxify certain stress hormones that can help boost your metabolism. Your cells, if they're unhappy and inflamed, you have inflamed fat cells, then you're not going to be producing energy, ATP. And uh, if your stress hormones are in excess, you're going to break down muscle tissue and that will slow your metabolism down. Now, there are six principles for, um, for a fat-burning metabolism that are, that are very much related to these seven key differences and the five metabolic factors for, a, um, for, you to, for in order for you to lose weight. If you missed that video, there's a link at the bottom of this one. You can click, and that is essentially the first video of this um, metabolism series. But there are six very important principles that you need to master, that you need to optimize in order for you to create not only a fat burning body, but an efficient metabolism. And this all essentially leads to you creating your healthiest self. Most women try to lose weight to get healthy when, it, when they need to start uh, doing the opposite. They need to get healthy in order to lose weight. You need to take your body from a state of just surviving, just help, you know, breathing, you're, you're, you're functioning, you're sleeping okay, and you're, you know, you're, just, you're just surviving. You're you know, stagnant, in a sense, unhappy with where you are, health-wise and looks-wise. You need to go from that 
to a state of thriving, your fat burning body, you're happy, you're confident, you're healthy. So now that you know the seven key differences, this next video where I go over the six principles of a fat burning metabolism, you're going to start realizing what exactly you need to focus on so you can find what is stressing out your metabolism the most, what's killing, what's destroying your metabolism, what's uh, slowing down your digestion, making you bloated, gassy with uh, digestive issues, what's overloading your liver, what's stressing out your adrenal glands, what's slowing down your thyroid. You're going to learn all those things in the next video with the six principles of a fat burning metabolism. So go ahead and click the link below this video. If you are ready to check out that three week metabolism diet where I will show you in 21 days, you'll be able to restart your metabolism just like some awesome women did that lost anywhere from nine to 21 pounds in just three weeks. Now this isn't a crash diet that is unhealthy for you. You can lose weight very quickly and still do it in a healthy way and the weight will not come back. I guarantee it. So you can click the link to the three week metabolism diet, two links below this video. There'll be a nice little button for you to check that out. I have a completely other um, article and video for you to, so I can show you exactly what you get with the three week metabolism diet. Um, so go ahead, click over to the next video or watch the five factors or go ahead and get that three week metabolism diet. I'll see you for the next video.